In this video, we're gonna break down some kayak racks that Michael put together with EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. And using those combination of materials, he was able to save a few hundred dollars. Now this is made entirely out of one inch electrical conduit, which you can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, and different hardware and home improvement stores. And then again, he also used maker pipe connectors, which we manufacture and ship from South Carolina. And this is really simple. He said he was looking at a bunch of different options for making kayak racks, and some of them were going to be expensive uh, if you use copper pipe and different, you know, large uh, wall thickness pipe. Uh, and he also looked at prefab solutions that were quite a few hundred dollars. I think he said close to $600 for two racks. So he was able to save a lot of money by just doing this with off-the-shelf conduit and the maker pipe. And here it is, all finished with a kayak in place. And we can really go through these pictures and see. And this is really it. This is the gist of the frame. It's really simple. So basically he has this fence here. And he used the maker pipe adjustable angle flange, which is this piece here or this connector here. Basically you have these two base pieces in the middle that you secure to a flat surface. And then you have this other clamp, uh, these out pieces on the outside here that clamp around and those go inside of the flange base pieces and those allow you to secure EMT conduit at an angle to a flat surface, which is what we see here that he did. He bolted that to the wall and he's got a piece of one inch EMT conduit coming out of it. And then he's got a T connector grabbing onto that here. And the T-connector from Maker Pipe just allows you to have two pieces of EMT conduit joined together. You have one that runs continuously through the top half of the connector and then one that terminates here. And then that piece of conduit is going back and terminating inside of the connector here. And because he used one inch EMT conduit, he was able to add self-tapping screws through the connectors. And that just adds some extra security. You, know, you don't want the, the conduit to slip out and then the kayaks to fall and, and damage your kayaks or anything like that. Definitely don't want to do that. So he added self-tapping screws for extra security. But basically that, that piece of uh, conduit is being held in place with the T connector there. And then that long piece of conduit that it's, that's in the front or in the top half of the connector is angled and going all the way down to another adjustable angle flange. And it's really just those two uh, adjustable angle flanges and one T connector per side. And then you just need two of those to hold the kayak. So basically you've got one on this side and then you've got one we can kind of see in the background there uh, on the other side and it just, you know, each side holds one end of the kayak. We can also see that he added some pipe insulation, or here's a good shot actually of the two in place there. So you just need those six connectors per rack. Then we can also see that he added some foam insulation to the framework uh, and also some end caps here to just cover the exposed end of conduit to keep rain from going down in there. That's a smart idea. And then here's the foam insulation, which does a really great job. It's inexpensive and allows you to protect things, uh, and in this case, a kayak. So that's really cool and a nice and simple project. And of course, you can customize these dimensions. You can space these apart however you want based on your kayak or your boat. Uh, but you can also check out his article here that he wrote. has a really nice write-up of everything that he used with links to all the connectors. He even has the, um, the different links of conduit that he used if you want to make this exact same thing. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out and get more specific details. Thanks so much, Michael, for sharing this project and the detailed write-up. We love to see it. Really great build. If you like this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.